Yeah. That's right. Betcha wanna know what that's about. 10 players was asked why the heavyweight division sucks. So we decided to see if the big boys could move. More than 2 miles per hour. Show some defense. Bob and weave. Slip the jab. Move their heads. Apparently they can. And nobody's telling them. So let 10 players be the first. Hey heavies. Move your fucking asses. Because you wouldn't know after watching Mike Perez move like a defenseless slug for the second time in a row. We can't help but wonder if these could possibly be his parents. See it's true that the heavyweight division is sad. And the fight on the Pascal Boutte card was an example. We knew Perez sucked from his last fight, yet had hopes for him since he was giving part of his purse to Margot Med. Which HBO's ass should be paying for. We felt Tukam won that fight, but we had no problem with the draw. Because when you bash your forehead into our guy's face. Unintentional or not. And we have to tilt his head back and work on his eye for the next 7 rounds, while you sit your ass in your corner with your clean face having a picnic. We don't dig that shit. If it's so irrelevant, then give us a free fucking head butt. But you won't. Why? We'll tell you why. Because it fucking matters. That's why. But who gives a fuck at this point? It is what it is and part of the game. As for Perez. If his only strategy is to outmuscle a guy, while blocking their punches with his face, he can hang it up. So let's get down to business, because this shit ain't rocket science. The truth is they're in a sport fans watch to be entertained. That means they wanna see something entertaining. Something that can make them say. Wow. Did you see that shit? This means they wanna see incredible fighters. These guys aren't, so no one's gonna look at them saying they did something incredible. Because they're physically incapable of doing something incredible. Because too many of them are too fat. Now don't get offended if you're a fat fan, because we fans and trainers can sit home getting as fat as we want. But they're the athletes. Yet most heavies aren't very athletic. Because too many of them have too much mass hindering their mobility. See if the heavies wanna be able to fight in an exciting style, they need to train for it. And part of the training for it, is eating for it. This doesn't mean they should try to be exciting, because they'll only end up on the canvas while attempting some fancy schmancy move. It just means they should train to be great, because great fighters are automatically exciting. And it doesn't matter if you're an in-fighter, boxer, swarmer slugger or ballet dancer. You need to be able to move, because you're boring the shit out of fans. And they can't. Because they're not eating right. We just watched two heavies fight like slugs in the gym hitting the heavy bag, with shitty defense. No plan B. Just who'll outslug each other. Their only plan B, was to do more of plan A. These guys need trainers who really understand bioelectro energy and anatomy. I mean look at this. And this is supposed to be when they're in shape. So what the fuck do they look like before training camp? Then they wonder why these guys keep beating them up. The only reason heavies don't move like welters is because they don't train like them, and eat too much fatty foods, so energy can't stream through them properly. Therefore their punches become slow sluggish bombs rather than speedy effective missiles. We assure you if the Klitschko's were cutlass thick boys they wouldn't have been so dominant. So Wilder's on the right track. Because it's a fact that energy and leanness affects athletic brain activity. How fast electro signals from the brain reach those hands. This means movement and speed. Take Areola for example. Good fighter. But if he ever got the body together, he'd be a fucking monster. Meanwhile HBO has the habit of acting like the heavyweight division is the NBA, and they're looking for an heir apparent to the Klitschkos. Max and Jim know damn well these stubby pudgy guys aren't beating no Klitschko when they're talking that stupid shit about them as future opponents. They did the same thing with Seth Mitchell. Another bomb throwing slug. He could hardly hold his own body up. Sometimes we feared Seth would fall over, and we don't mean in the ring. We mean just walking to the ring. And don't get it twisted, because we like Seth as a person. But this is about the ring. Not how much of a nice sweet guy you are. So he has to reduce the mass. See we know some who don't understand anatomy think they're well built guys. But for the ring, they're not. See if these guys went to a truly great trainer, and asked to be trained. That trainer may sit them down, and ask them if they wanted to be great, possess power, speed, the ability to effectively come in and out, swarm, slug and evade punches, and move on their feet like a feather. 
and guys like Mike Perez would probably say yes. Then they'd warn them that it's gonna be hard work. A new lifestyle, diet and mindset. And that they've gotta do everything they're told. And if they say yes to that too. By the time they're done turning them into that kind of fighter. Their bodies would look nothing like this. But don't bank on that ever happening. See we get tired of seeing too many heavies thinking doing this and hitting the bag is training. And they'll only get knocked the fuck out by a Klitschko. Who'll jab them to death, then clinch when they get close in a damn snorefest. And these guys are too sluggish and slow to be effective. Take Tyson. See all this stopped as the midsection grew. Because Tyson was no longer this guy. He was this guy. And what did Danny Williams go on to do in his next fight? He got knocked out by Vitali. Which tends to happen when you face a Klitschko, with your belly extending past your chest. So heavies, cut out the bulkiness and get those vegetables in. Reduce the midsection, and don't think Bradley's stupid when it comes to diet. Which is one of your major problems. And most of the heavies are doing the same shit. And the Klitschkos love it. But from what we see, these guys aren't beating no Klitschko. We only see one guy who stands a chance of taking them down. And we're talking now. Not five years from now. Sorry. Who put that shit there? Yeah. That's right. He's already talking about returning. But there's only two guys he's interested in, and he's pretty fucking obsessed with it. Now we know everyone acted like Vlad kicked Hay's ass. And yeah, we've had fun with Hay too. But an ass kicking's not what we saw. Sure Hay was falling all over the place, and it looked shitty. But we saw a guy Vladimir couldn't knock out. That's rare. Not to mention giving him the best fight since Brewster, and admitting how difficult Hay was to hit. But fans just jumped on the Hay hate bandwagon because of all the knockout shit Hay talked. But if they rematch tomorrow, we say Hay has a damn good chance of winning. And by knockout. Because Hay's not fat, can handle his weight, and won't hold Vlad's big fucking body up when he starts holding. He'll just fall to the ground. Then get the fuck back up fighting like a jackrabbit. See Vitali was supposed to be so pissed over this, along with the fact that little bro couldn't knock Hay out, that he claimed he'd finish the job. Then suddenly all that changed. Why? You can put it on his political aspirations. But we say it's because he was advised differently behind the scenes. Like to not take the fucking chance. See Vitali's been more respected because of the Lewis fight, along with never being knocked out, and knocking out two guys who knocked out little bro. But when it comes to Hay. We say Vlad has the better chance, because he's a bit more athletic. And Hay can hop around the ring like a rabbit. All Vitali has to do is pull, twist, or sprain some shit chasing him, and we say it's lights out. Because Hay definitely has the power, and can move because he's lean. So we're telling heavies. Get lean and conditioned, and don't step in the ring until you can move and handle your own weight. The weight of your opponent is irrelevant once you master handling your own. Stop thinking you can't move like a lightweight, because the laws of gravity are somehow different for you. They're the same for everyone who keeps eating Twinkies. Naturally you need ring smarts, because a fat Tony or foreman will beat you having the smarts and understanding principles alone. And we said principles. Not techniques. But the ability to be athletic and move will help your game. I mean how many great prime champions looked like these guys. So get disciplined, because even if you beat a Klitschko, you're still stinking up the joint with fights no one wants. Because you're physically incapable of providing them. No one wants to see two guys in the ring leaning on each other looking like they wanna fucking make love. We wanna see a fucking fight, with guys who can move. Some people blame the Klitschkos for this shit. But what's the rest of the division's excuse? Because we don't see a bunch of Joe Lewis's and Muhammad Ali's bombing everyone while floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. And lack of it is why the heavyweight division sucks.